Hi there, students. To give in. Now, be careful with this phrasal verb. It has several different meanings. Um, firstly, you give in when you admit that you are defeated, that you can't do something. So, um, my, my sister gave me a riddle to do, but I couldn't do it. And I guessed with several answers. But finally, I gave in. She said to me, do you give in? Do you give in? So, yes, I give in. What is the answer? Yeah, what's black and white and red all over? Do you know? Do you give in? A newspaper. Black and white and red all over. Um, OK, if you give in, you could agree to do something that you don't want to do. So, um, the, my kids were pressurising me to take them to the zoo. They were badgering me on and on and on. And finally, I gave in and I acceded to their demands. I gave in. Yes, so I said, OK, yes, yeah, 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 I give in. Yeah, that's enough. But notice as well, you can give in a piece of homework. So um, at the end of the class, everybody had to give in their homework. OK, so to give uh, the uh, the teacher the the work to um, submit to hand in to deliver um, something that that um, has been asked for so I um, you need to give in your essay by Friday notice I gave in to the my kids demands I gave in intransitive um, so can you guess the answer or do you give in intransitive um, the roof collapsed the roof gave in intransitive but I gave my homework in to hand in to deliver to submit transitive okay so be careful of that difference yeah um, OK, so to yield to pressure, to yield to somebody pressurizing you. He argued, um, w he argued and argued and argued. And finally, I gave in to his demands. I thought he'd never give in. Um, the uh, door was rotten. And when I pushed it, it just gave in. It collapsed. It broke. There was so much snow on the roof that it gave in. It gave way as well. Um, so have you given in your report? Yeah, to hand in, to give in. Um, so to submit something, to hand something in. To cease opposition. Um, maintain your position. Don't give in because I know you're right. The opposition will, will give, give in to our demands. They will give way to our demands. Uh, the floor gave in under the uh, un under the weight of my huge belly. Okay, so to give in, um, to collapse, to fall, yeah, to relent, to yield, um, to give in to temptation. Yeah, isn't it wonderful? What was it? That, um, yeah, I I can resist anything but temptation. So that was Oscar Wilde saying he always gives in to, uh, into temptation. So this is the idea to uh, give in. Um, we're never going to win, so I think maybe we should just give in gracefully. Um, you shouldn't always give in to your kids' demands. He refused to give in to bullying and threats. Um, please, when you've finished with your book, give, give it in. Yeah? Um, I hate the way you always give in to him. Yeah, you need to be more re resolved and not give in so easily. You shouldn't give in uh, to pressure. Um, I decided to quit my job and I gave my notice in. I gave in my notice. Yeah, so th th this, is, this is the uh, transitive version. OK, so let's see. The roof gave in. 4.5 informality. Um, to give in to pressure. 
4.5 informality. I gave in my homework 4.5 informality. So use informally, using a semi-formal conversation, semi-formal writing, but perhaps not something very formal. And as to origin, boof, well, to give... <laughs> Uh, the homework I can understand because the homework is coming in. I guess the roof is is pressured and finally it falls in. Um, yeah, you so you give in and you open the gates and let and let them in. I guess. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. To give in.